We're very eager to get the high-resolution gravity map of the Moon because we really want to study what the Moon is made up on the inside. With gravity, you can see through matter. In other words, you're not restricted to seeing what's on the surface. You can also see what's inside. And that's really a, a remarkable property that we can use by mapping the gravity field of the Moon. The first thing we do, actually, once the map is in our hands, is compare it with a topography map, hopefully of comparable resolution. And from there, we can look at specific features, such as mountains and basin craters, and compare the gravity on the topography. This is where it gets really interesting. You would normally think that if there's a mountain present on the uh, planet, there's additional mass and additional gravitational signal as the spacecraft flies over it. But if it does, and there is no additional gravity signal, then something on the inside is going on that is particularly interesting. And that's what we want to know. The upper 60% is known pretty well because the Apollo astronauts placed seismometers on the moon. And for about a half a dozen years, we got records of moonquakes. As you go deeper, we don't know as nearly as much about the size of the core, whether there's an inner core, how big it is. We think there's a mushy zone. But again, how how mushy the mushy zone is, is, is yet to be determined. Understanding how the moon has developed would really help us in understanding how the other planets in the inner part of the solar system, the rocky planets, have also developed. The terrestrial bodies in the inner solar system are the moon and the four planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The biggest of those bodies, the Earth and Venus, uh, have surfaces that have evolved completely away from what their original appearance was. So comparative planetology is a very key aspect of planetary science, and understanding yet one more piece of this puzzle with this very interesting object, our moon, would be a key aspect of this. Ready to be surprised. <laughs>